Well, you've done underwater exploration as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What have you done there? I lived for two weeks uh, in the bottom of the sea. Oh, Jesus. (laughs) (laughs) Two weeks at the bottom of the ocean? Yeah. How deep? Uh, it was exactly uh, 20,000 millimeters under the sea. It was about 60 feet. But, but the cool thing was we stayed there for weeks. Wow. Now, now if, you're normal, if you're normally scuba diving and you go down 60 feet, you have 60 minutes. And then you got to come back up or you, or you get too much nitrogen in your blood and you're going to get bent, right? Mm-hmm. It's not a problem if you just stay. The problem is then if you stay, you build up all that nitrogen in your blood. Now you can't go back up. So, like, if you run out of air or you lose sight of your buddy or something, you can't go to the surface because within a couple hours you'll be dead. Wow. And we use cave diving techniques that we did a lot of training for to be safe. And we could have valves that we can flip around so we can always make sure we can get air without ever having that in an emergency ever having to come up because coming up is not an option. So how do you eventually get out? It's a freaky thing. It takes about a day. So we were living in this habitat, and it was kind of like a submarine on the bottom of the ocean, but it didn't have a motor, so it was just like stuck on the floor, like a big uh, cylinder. And it had a hole cut in the side here, and the only thing that was keeping the ocean out was the air pressure inside. Whoa. Kind of like taking a cup and flipping it over, putting it in the bathtub and trapping the air. Oh, God. And you just scuba dive on down, and then you swim into that thing, and then then once you pop up in that hole, it's like you're in a swimming pool inside the habitat. And then you just step out into the habitat. Whoa. It's, have you ever seen the movie uh, The Abyss? Yes. It, it's it, like that. Like, it's like that. Oh. Yeah. How accurate is that movie? I think, uh, what, what's the guy, what's the Navy SEAL in there? He gets like, like. Uh, yeah, it's crazy from the gets bends. Like, like uh, what do they call it, uh, deep dementia or something? Yeah. Is that fake? Yeah, that's fake. Damn. <laughs> Goddamn Hollywood. <laughs> so this process of getting back to surface level. How long, you said it takes a day. What do you have to do? So what you do is you close up that hole and you convert the habitat into a pressure chamber. And what you do is you very, very slowly bring the pressure back to sea level. And then over as you do it gradually, the, the nitrogen slowly comes out of your blood and you can feel it. It kind of tingles. Oh, wow. Over the course of a day, you just lie. You try to lie still in your bunk and just like read a book or something, but you feel like this tingling. What, you know what it is? It's like if you take a can of soda and you shake it up, if you open, a, you open the top quickly, right. Right, right? but if you open the top really slowly and you let it slowly come out, you don't get all the bubbles. Right. It's, it's, it's that same effect. Ah, that's a, that's a great analogy. Yeah. Oh. 